Hello everybody, my name is the Gamer Raptor and welcome back to For Honor. Yes, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to start off with Hidukiri or how to like player and how to start off with her as a new player. Now Hidukiri is well a really cool heavy and I wanna give you some background tests before we get into the video and before we start the video, um for all of you guys out there, um if you don't agree with some of the things in the video I completely understand and everything, but it's just, let's not, don't put any toxic comments and everything. I know about like some parts of my guides and everything. Some of them I do get wrong, some of them I do get right. So yeah, please no toxic comments at all. Um, if there's anything wrong, just tell me in the comments. Um, just give me some some constructive criticism in the comments and everything. Just um, no toxic comments at all. Um, if it, there's anything wrong in this guy, just let me know in the comments. But let me give you some context with Hidakiri real quick before we get into the video. Hidakiri. Now, the story with Hidakiri and when she came out is really bizarre, honestly. The first time that she came out as a hero, um, I remember this because I started For Honor during that time. She was just overpowered. Really overpowered. Basically, she had heavy... Well, she had, like, hyper armor on all heavies. All sides. Everywhere. But then, um, For Honor said, no, we're just gonna nerf her to the ground. And they nerfed her. Yes, they took away the red on heavy. They took away the hyper armor on everywhere. And she was just not a good hero during those times, if you guys remember that. Uh, for some of y'all who play For Honor since the Hirokiri, Hirokiri days. But however, lately, they did give her some changes to where she is just so powerful in duels, in brawls. Heck, even the minion, she's just so good. Really good now. In my opinion, she is a really good hero now. Um, and that's what I want to do today is show you guys on how you can get started with Hidakiri and some moves that I come up with myself and uh, and overall give y'all a good guide and everything. Uh, a pretty decent guide and give you my final thoughts with Hidakiri at the end too, just for you guys, how you guys like it. But I hope you guys again will enjoy today's video. Make sure to like the video and also subscribe for more uh, content like this, more guides like this. And also for the next video, I will be doing maybe a brawl uh, with the character, with the hero or something, or maybe a duel. It's going to depend on what which one I do. And that one I will use my face cam with. Um, the reason why I don't, I'm not using my face cam with the guide is because I think it's better if I use if I don't use my face cam at all for the guides and everything. Uh, just looks better to me in my my opinion. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into Hidakiri's combos and mix-ups. Let's get it. Alrighty, so uh, for the combos and mix-ups for Hidakiri, there's something I like to do with Hidakiri to like get my opponent and bait them when it comes to like duels, dominion brawls somewhere. Basically, I do this. So basically, RB and go for the sweep and faint. Now, in order to do the sweep, you have to do either a heavy, which is this, or a light. You gotta do both of those in order to press X afterward to do the sweep. Now, how to do the sweep is basically you press X after uh, both of those. <laughs> so yeah, um, so basically it's like this. So if I were to go for like a light here, I can go for the sweep, like that. A sweep and the kick too. So if I were to go for like a heavy, I can go for the sweep too. But I usually do this just to bait my opponent, just to get them to like dodge or somewhere. And that way I know that they're very dodgy and I can get a guard break out, get a guard break off of them. That's why I do that because it just is really predictable. Well, it's not predictable. It's just um, people can't predict it sometimes. They'll think that you're not going for it um, because some of them will dodge and everything and they will they will think that you're not going for it at all. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend practicing this with the feint in the kick. And try and go for a guard break afterward just to practice it and everything. Um, basically, it's really good to practice this because it can get people sometimes and it can't get people. So it's like 50 50. That's pretty much it. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is Hidakiri's new thing that they added for her is the side dodge heavy. Now, this is a new thing they added for Hidakiri, which everybody says that is broken, but I really don't think it's broken at all. I think it's really good for Hidakiri, honestly. Um, it's just that I know people spam it a lot and everything. I mean, it's just a move that you have to use to survive with Hidakiri. So um, people can't predict it um, if you use it too much. But here's what you basically do. Basically, you side dodge to A and then press RT. That's how you do the side dodge, which is really good for Hidakiri. And it has hyper armor. So if, well, if you basically use it at the right time, the opponent can't guard break you, which that's... 
kind of crazy if you think about it honestly I mean the thing about Hidakiri is that you want to be um, very punishing when it comes to her you want to try and punish people as much as you can that way you can basically get good mix-ups in get big damage in and then end them brutally that's what Hidakiri is it's just a another heavy that basically does a lot of damage same like Shigoki but we all know Shigoki's about to get nerfed big time to the ground <laughs> But, but you know what? Um, it's all good. <sighs> now, now the thing, now the next thing I want to teach you guys is a little bit of a mix-up with Hidakiri that I usually do. So I basically do this: light, heavy, and then faint this. Try to go for maybe a heavy over top. I usually faint that, so I basically go for light, faint to heavy, or I can go light, heavy, and then go for the sweet. See, there are different combos you can use with Hidakuri for that, so you can go for light, heavy, go with the sweep, or kick, my bad. <laughs> or you can go light, heavy, and then go for the sweep, and then you can get a heavy off the sweep. That's another thing I need to teach you guys, is basically, after you go for the sweep, so if I go for this, you can get a heavy right off the sweep. Now, back then, they didn't have that for Hidakuri. Reason being is because, well... They just didn't add it. I, I don't know why. <laughs> but they should have added that uh, for Hidakuri. It would have been really good, but uh, they, they would think it would have been overpowered. But hey, it makes her better, honestly. <laughs> now, um, you can also mix up with the dodge heavies, the side dodge heavies too. So basically, if you were to go for like a side dodge heavy first, um, it's basically, an, I would say it's another opener, the side, the, the side dodge heavy, maybe, I, I'm just saying. Um, but you can start off with it, and you can go for maybe a sweep or a kick afterwards, so basically like this, and you can go for a sweep, and if you go for it again, you can go for the kick. And basically, you want to faint the kick sometimes, just to get your, get your opponent, it works on people. Uh, I would say 65% of the time it works on people, but anyway, you can use that to your advantage with the sweep and the kick um, for the side dodge heavy. It's really useful when it comes to duels and brawls, but um, it is all up to you on how you want to play Hidakiri, honestly, um, when it comes to combos and mix-ups and everything. Now, there is one more thing I do want to teach you guys, and that's with the zone, too. You can also mix up the zone in with your, uh, with your chain, too, so if I were to go like that, that 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 and then go for the zone like that you can just mix it in there and try to bait your opponent and like basically get some damage in that's basically what you want to use the zone for you can use it to get damage in or finish off your opponent that's basically what you want to use the zone for um now the zone does take a lot of stamina away and most of the move set does take a lot of stamina same with the sweep so if you see there the sweep does take some stamina away if you keep on doing it so you might as well be careful when it comes to using the sweep. Don't use it too much. Use it wisely and, tactic and tactically whenever you're um, playing against someone in a 1v1 situation or um, brawls or dominion. Anywhere pretty much. Um, but yeah, uh, this is my kind of like uh, combo kind of guide with Hitakiri just to get you guys started. So basically, I want you guys to practice with this and practice with this and also if you hold the heavy down you can get an unblockable heavy which you can also mix up into as well which I almost forgot <laughs> so yeah uh, so basically you can let that fly if you want to but be advised people will catch on to that so be careful when it comes to the unblockable heavies so basically I want you guys to practice the side dodge heavies and practice the sweep too and the kick and try to mix it up with your coolness that's what <laughs> and basically you'll be set with Hidakiri honestly when it comes to this um so basically that's what I think uh for new players who are who want to play Hidakiri that's what I think you guys should practice on more it's just the guy well just basically um, I say guide my butt my bad <laughs> Basically, I want you guys to just mess with the sweep, and I want you guys to mess with the lights and everything, and the heavies. One day, I will give you guys an advanced guide on how to, like, utilize the combos and everything. That will be one day. Um, but this is just to get you guys started, and some cool openers for her. 
and just see what you guys can do. Just practice fainting, most of the heavies, practice fainting, uh, the sweep and everything, and practice um, utilizing the sweep, and come up with your own mix-up and everything, your own guy, your own like combo. I'm here to show you guys the combos and some of the moves too. That's basically what I want to show you guys and just help you guys get on the right path with Ferrana. That's pretty much simple like that. But yeah, we're going to go on ahead, move on to her out of stamina punishes. Let's do that. Alrighty, so now I want to teach you guys a good out of stamina punish you can use for Hidukiri. Now this is just one out of stamina punish that I know. Um, it, there are other guys out there that show off other out of stamina punishes for Hidukiri. Um, but this is my out of stamina punish. So basically, you want to get on the ground, test side, go for light heavy and then the kick like that so basically it's rb rt and x pressing x and then heavy uh, rt so do this again and that's pretty much it um now if you want to do it on the other side you could but they will be thrown far and oh gosh my stamina oh no <laughs> Oh, okay. I'll get this. Uh, go for this. This one. No, that's not it. Okay, regenerate. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much. Um, you want to uh, basically throw the opponent on the ground. You'll basically get the heavy off, but you won't get the light off. But it's still good damage, honestly, to go for. Um, but this is my kind of out of stamina punish that I would go for. If you try to go for behind, you're gonna get parried and everything. Basically, I'd say just go for the sides. They're a bit safe. And you can get a heavy off. And get another heavy off. Like that. So basically, it's RB, RT, and X. If you're playing on Xbox. And it's the same thing with PS4. I, I don't know the controls for PS4, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but it's for Xbox and everything. Um, it's really easy. Really simple like that. That's basically her added stamina punish. Um, my well, my version of the Addis Stamina Punish that I usually use when it comes to duels, brawls, Dominion, all that kind of cool stuff. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, there are other guys out there that can show you um, other Addis Stamina Punishes for Hidakiri. Mine is just a more basic kind of Addis Stamina Punish just to get you guys started. That's all. Just to get you guys started with Hidakiri. Again, this uh, guide is here to help you guys get started with her. Uh, for those of you, for those of you who want to play her and everything, so yeah. Next, we're gonna talk about Hidakiri and what I think about her in the For Honor meta right now. Let's do that. Alrighty. So my final thoughts with Hidakiri. If I were to describe Hidakiri, how would I describe her? Basically, I would say she's a really good hero in the For Honor meta today. Um, she, she wasn't good. She wasn't a good hero back then after they nerfed her. Um, when she came out but now that they gave her some changes from her rework she is a really good hero and i honestly would uh buy her for 15k steel in the store right now um but hitakiri isn't for everybody and everything everybody has their personal own preference and everything like maybe someone likes shigoki someone likes warlord someone likes another different hero and different heavy and everything and that's okay but I'm just here to give you guys these guys and everything just to help you guys out, get you started with Hidakiri for those who want to play Hidakiri, and just have fun in For Honor pretty much. I want to see this game grow more and more every day. I want the For Honor team to hire more devs and everything just to add more, more rewards to the game, add something new, add some, something fresh. Oh gosh, sorry, I hit my mic there. <laughs> uh, just add something fresh to the table, add something cool. Like, I really do these YouTube videos just to help you guys get started with different types of characters. And I hope you guys will stick around with me and show support for the community and everything. Um, I just really want to uh, show you guys some love and everything. Just try to help you guys out with some uh, guides of my own. And I hope to one day uh, get to basically do this full time. I, it will happen one day. I know so. I have you guys, my community. Really awesome community. For honor community, though. And you're really awesome, right? I appreciate everything you've been doing for me. Um, we're close to 400 subscribers here on the channel. I can't wait to hit 400 subscribers. It's going to be amazing. Um, and I can't wait to grow this channel in the future with you guys, honestly. I really cannot wait for that. I hope you guys will stick around here on the channel. Um, I promise to make good quality content for y'all um, in the future. Same goes for the, guy, the guides and everything. Same goes for like the gameplays and all that cool stuff. Um, but yeah, 
I really do hope you guys enjoyed this Hito Kiri guide. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also uh, like the video and also comment down below what do you guys think about Hito Kiri in the For Honor meta and everywhere pretty much. Well, how is she overall and how would you use her in Dominion, Brawls, Duels, Breach, everywhere. Um, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think. And also, um, the next video I will have my face cam up and running we're gonna be doing some duels or, or brawls depending on which one i want to do and yeah we'll go from there uh pretty much i just want to start making for honor videos making all kinds making all types of content too along the side maybe some halo infinite around here and there and yeah i just want to do that dudes so i hope you guys will stick around show some support and everything uh, let's just keep growing as a community together and also guys i want you guys to go and follow my twitch too because we do stream for honor on twitch and i stream other games on twitch as well i do stream some warframe i stream some halo infinite um i'll stream some other games from time to time different games too maybe forza or maybe some kingdom hearts all that kind of cool stuff guys so make sure you guys go and follow me on twitch uh the link of that will be in the description below and come join the discord too so i can come talk to you guys and have a good time as well but yeah <sighs> with that being said guys i am the game raptor like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video all right guys peace out